Hello, this is a game where you freaking fly planes for some reason. Uh, and it was free, too. Um, surely there's a ca camp campaign? There's a training, right? There will be tra Oh, here we go, training. I don't know how this works. I do- I, I don't even know how planes really fly. Um, aircraft start up, taxi take off. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I saw a video where someone did like a weird flying maneuver in this, and I was like, I wonder if this is free or not. Well, I didn't expect it to be free, I just wondered, oh, I don't want to game this. So it's like, it's free on Steam! It's just like, well, if it's free, then it's damn well free, and I'm gonna be playing it to see at least what happens. Now, I want to talk about something I quickly noticed on YouTube. It seems like YouTube is recommending smaller channels for the past, like, two weeks. And I haven't uploaded anything in the past two weeks. My brain, I was basically thinking, like, you know, you probably should upload something. If it's if it's recommending things, then you're a small channel, then you should upload. It's just like, I'm too tired, man. i got other things to do. i got nothing else to do. I'm just lazy. I'm just, there, there's, there's no excuse. I should have. I've been doing really just playing uh, Yakuza Zero and we playing New Vegas. New Vegas is a great game. Great game. This is gonna take a while to load. Yep, my my mouse cursor has turned into a hourglass. I wonder how long it will take. It is spring break for me right now. I don't know if it's spring break for you guys. Um. If, if you're watching this near when it came, comes out, I mean, obviously, if you're watching this in, late, in like, September, it's not going to be spring break. It's all relative, anyway. I, I think the blue bar's moving. It looked like it moved, or am I just imagining it? It's not responding. Oh, God. Welp, so much for this game. Oh my god. Oh, 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 it's moving, it's working, it's working. I won't have to delete this video. I was, I was worried, I'm like, am I gonna have to delete this OBS recording and just like find something else to put on YouTube? Nope, I saw it do a thing. I saw it do a thing, it is not dead yet. Just gotta be patient. I have never been good at that. I've gotten better. I'm still not really there yet. Oh, 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 it's doing a thing again. It went from one to, oh, it's going up. The number's going up. We love to see that. Love it when the number goes up. Oh, we're here. Title, SU25T Startup. I'm, I'm okay, Rush. Uh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the SU-25T Frogfoot. The Frogfoot, also called the Gratch, is a very capable ground attack aircraft that can destroy most anything on the battlefield. Before we start blowing things up though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. I <laughs> remember all this, okay. With the electrical power now engaged, you can Look. see the heads up display HUD comes to life as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, I turned sure it off. Three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that you have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right control and L. Right control and L. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left control and C. Left control and C. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. What? Right, alt, and I'm not remembering this. I don't have a home button. I do. Okay, right, alt, and home. With the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Right, control, and home. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge with needles marked one and two for the two engines. You think I can see when that? When being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. I can't see. Oh, I can zoom in. By pressing left shift and F. 
Left shift and NF. Okay. We're not ready to taxi. Oh my god, I'm gonna crash and burn. This is not gonna be a long video. This video is just gonna be me like freaking the fuck out and then dying. Use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Okay, um, we're not ready to taxi. By moving your throttle control. Throttle control? I don't have a damn well throttle control. What do you mean throttle control? Or by pressing cage up. Uh. Oh, 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 movement's happening. Movement's happening. Everybody calm down. We're going. Oh, okay. Z to steer. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm going to the grass. Now hit right ah, ah, I'm going. Well. It's just a fucking. Uh, do I get a redo? I bro I snapped my wings in half. Um I uh, uh maybe maybe I go to briefing? Oh! Oh. Okay, um right. I don't I, okay, um alt home right I don't remember. Oh, what do I do? I, I don't remember. Oh, I have to go shift L, right? Control L. Uh, shift L. There we go. I uh, turn things on. How do I close the canopy and turn on the engines? Oh, I hit all F. Maybe that just starts it. Remind me never to fly a plane if I want to like live. Actually, my father played in that case. Okay, right, we're gonna restart. Welcome to the SU-25 T4. All right, right shift and now, let's turn it on. Also called Thrash, is a very capable ground attack aircraft that can destroy most anything on the battlefield. Before we start blowing things up, though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. I, I did power now engaged. You can see that the heads up display or HUD comes to life. As right as control as now. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that we have power, let's turn on the navigation lights for pressing right control and L. I, I did that, but Next, I'll do it again. Let's close the canopy by pressing left control and C. Our it's just gonna be. To start our two engines. It's gonna be you do so, Alt Shift sure L Control L then Control the C for canopy. Right Alt and Home. Right Right Alt Home, and then Left Alt Home. Right. Wait, what? Right Alt and Home. What? That, oh, okay. Right Alt and Home. I hit, hit Control. With the left engine started. Press Right Control and Home to start the right engine. Oh, okay, Right Control. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge, with needles marked 1 and 2 for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. Okay, so my right's on, the ready. Which is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. Left shift and F? We're now ready to taxi. To slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Oh, I see. So don't do that. Do like this. Turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Okay, um. Well, the good news is right now we're not like sputtering off into the grass like last time. We are taxiing. It's happening. We're not dying. I'm nice doing job. it. Now heading in the right direction. 
Keep your taxi speed around 10 kilometers per How do I know my speed? I don't know my speed. Rudder corrections. Keep the line I don't know my speed, chief. I'm going to I'm going to assume this is this is the right uh I can't read these. The textures aren't that good. This would be great in VR. I think they have a VR version. Um uh, okay, well, as long as I don't crash, right? As long as I don't crash, we're good. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I forgot the buttons for turning. Uh, no, wait, I, I have them. At the four, hang a right to reach the runway. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, we got it. I am panicking on the inside! Ooh, ooh! <laughs> as a taxi, you can go to external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F2. Oh, I like this a lot better. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and four slash. Rotate the wheels using the keypad direction. We've now reached the runway threshold. Taxi on the runway to the right and align yourself down the runway. Oh no no no! Don't don't turn too fast. Once aligned down the runway, increase thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs on the rudder X and Z to keep you tracking down the center line. Oh what? How big is this runway, Chief? This better be a big boy run. Oh, that's a big boy run, Ray. Okay. Um, let me go to the middle here. I'm probably going way too fast, aren't I? Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Indicates about 250 kilometers per hour. Oh, I see it. Gently pull back on the controller and allow the aircraft to fly itself off the runway. On the controller? Um, um, okay, okay. Go, do what? Gently pull back the controller. Oh! Oh! I'm I'm flying! It's happening! I'm flying! I'm going! I'm not facing the help! 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 Up! Up! Go up! I'm facing! Race the landing! Race the landing! Shit! I'm gonna crash! Ah! You dick, you can- Okay, oh my god, what a- You can tell me how to go up! How do I go up once I'm flying? Because I get it, right? You put the throttle back, and that makes you go up. But, like, how do I stay up? I gotta stay up. Part of flying is staying up. You go up, you stay up. Kinda failed that last bit. Alright, come on, let me restart. <laughs> it was just like that. That's the third pilot we've lost today. That's the second pilot we lost today. Alright, bang on the third one. One of them will finally realize how to do it. Come on, one of these buttons gotta like. Uh. Briefing? There we go. Okay, um. Shift L, Control L, Control C. Um, it's not L. Um, it's, it's Control Home and Alt Home. And now, and now it's on, right? I remembered. Now we just gotta wait for it to actually start up. By when those two lights. Oh, they're rushing. That's why I can't understand them. When those lights turn off, it means our engines are good, and then we just gotta taxi under the wrong way, lift off, and then go from there. Damn it, English, please. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not Russian. I speak cheeseburgers and shotguns. That's it. That's all they taught me in school. Well, that and how to survive. And I don't mean that in a cool way. I mean like, like it's a literally a sh like shooting gallery in there.
All right, I'm gonna take it slow on the corner. I feel good. I mean, I, I mean, despite the fact that I crashed horribly in my last one, I'm I'm glad that I was able to do this one so far with no instructions. That is really good. It makes me feel really good. I just don't know how to stay up. I also still need to do the tutorial a bit. No, oh, don't tilt too hard. You get in the middle of the runway and then like, let's go. All right, we're not playing a little kitty game no more. And you can see our speed and the HUD. So nine. So once we get to 250, we want to blast off apparently. Middle of the runway, okay. And now, lightly, lightly. Lightly, lightly, it said lightly. Um, I don't know how to go up. Did I hit my, did I get my flaps? Maybe I forgot the flaps. We're not, <laughs> we're gonna crash. Well, let me look. Oh, the end of the runway's right there. The end of the runway's right there. Go, go, go up. Go up, please. Go up. Go on! <laughs> Shit! Uh, uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh my god! We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going. Wait! We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going up. We're not crashing. Holy shit! Yes! Ha <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Nobody taught me how to fly midair. Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Nobody thought, nobody taught me how to do anything. From, from this point, nobody else, I don't know. <laughs> I, I was so focused on getting up. I forgot what to do once I'm up. They didn't teach me that in flight school. Oh, God, um. Oh, oh, sh uh, tur throttle down, throttle off, throttle off. Oh, oh, hey, that works, that works somehow. Now, now, engage thrusters, engage thrusters. Are we doing it? Uh, oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're floating to the ground. Oh, well, you know what they say, there's something about Titanic and you know, just play it to your death. Oh, we are, we are going to die a horrible death. There is no doubt in my mind. Oh, it is loud out there. What if I open the canopy? It's in like control C, right? Oh, what? Did it break? It broke. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill ourselves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die now. I right, go upside down. Watch. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a revolution. Oh, oh my God. I might puke a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's the ground. The ground is approaching at a rapid pace. Oh my goodness gracious, she's right for the, for the ending. Oh, I can't turn anymore. Well, bye. <laughs> that was a violent explosion. That was a violent explosion. I'm gonna quit, but not the desktop, I hope. If I, because it says quit the desktop, but that wasn't good. And then. <laughs> okay, um, close. Oh, how do you go from ramp, taxi, and takeoff? Well, I know how to do that now. So then, basic flight controls and navigation. It feels like this is where I, where I want to go next. Now that I've successfully at least achieved flight, I want to know how to maintain flight. Well, that was actually pretty fun. The whole, the whole enjoyable experience. Of course, dying isn't enjoyable at that end there, but, you know, happens sometimes. Um. Trim nose up, trim nose down, altitude hold. Oh my god. It's complicated. Welcome to this lesson on the basic flying and navigation of the SU-25T. This lesson will teach you how to get from point A to point Z, and all points in between. I currently have the lesson in active pause. If you wish, you can turn on cockpit lighting 
by pressing L. I'm pressing L, nothing's happening. Your airspeed is indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. The horizontal line below the airspeed indication, with the care below it, indicates your acceleration or deacceleration. If the care is on the left side of the line, you are deaccelerating. If it is in the center, your speed is not changing, and if it is on the right side of the line, you are accelerating. The smaller number above is your set airspeed for that leg of the route when you're in navigation mode. Press the space bar to continue. Okay. I'm pressing space bar. is indicated in the top right corner of your HUD. An R to the right indicates it is radar altitude or height above ground and not barometric height above sea level altitude. The smaller number above is your desired barometric altitude for that leg of the route. Press the space bar to continue. You probably notice a circle in the center of the HUD. This provides you poor steering to the next waypoint. By flying the aircraft to align the circle in the center of the bank and pitch indicator in the center of the hub, you will reach your next destination on the course line. The course line is a direct line between two waypoints. Press the space bar to continue. In the bottom center of your front dash is a horizontal situation indicator for HSI that looks like a compass. The yellow needle points directly to your next waypoint. Yellow! The top left field indicates the range of kilometers to that waypoint. Top right field indicates your course bearing to reach the next wave. What do you mean yellow and white? Points to your course intercept. Yellow and white. There is no yellow and white. There's just green. There is just green. Needles will align. Press the space bar to continue. Ahead of you are a series of gates to fly through. Fly through the first gate directly ahead of you. You can push the control stick forward to push the nose down and dive, or pull back the stick to raise the nose and climb. These inputs control your elevator. Use the throttle, page up, page down, to control your thrust. Try to keep your airspeed around 620 kilometers per hour. Press the space bar when you're ready, and I will unpause the lesson. You know, it's saying control no, stick like I know the... the next one sequence. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Oh, I hit space bar in accident. Uh, adjust controls. Um, control stick. Is is it um, is it here somewhere? Um, I'm gonna say this is the end of the video. Uh, we got we we achieved flight. We achieved flight. Um, and it appears that this is designed for you if you have a fancy dancy setup. Uh, I'm just a guy with two computer monitors, a keyboard, and a mouse. Uh, that's a little better. Then most people who only have one monitor, I mean, I also have a camera and a steel microphone I'm not using, but I am nowhere near the level I think the people that want me to play this game are. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye-bye.